In this video, we will learn about one of the rule types in conditional formatting where we can select multiple cells and format all of them based on their values. And specifically, we will be talking about the data bars, color scales, and icon sets type of graphics that we can use. Let's learn how to apply data bars. Let's select a group of cells and then go to the conditional formatting drop down menu and choose data bars. And you have uh, about 12 preset data bars available. They're all very similar except for the colors they use blue here and yellow, uh, orange, sorry. And these are gradient colors, but then these are solid fills. As you hover over them, you see on screen on co in column B, our cells now have a bar chart basically inside the cell. And this is what the data bars are. And if you want more options than these 12 colors, you can click on more rules. But for now, I'm just going to choose the first blue. Let me choose the blue solid fill data bar. And now we have conditional formatting applied to cells B6 to B8. The length of the bar is indicative of the magnitude of the value in the cell. So the hard cover is the longest bar because that's the maximum sales that we have out of these three. And then ebook has the smallest bar or the shortest bar because that has the lowest sales value. Excel decides on the length of the bar based on the minimum value and the maximum value we have in the cells that we selected. Data bars are nothing but bar charts displayed within the cells themselves. With the cells now being selected, let me go and choose conditional formatting. And now, since we have already applied a rule, I'm going to click manage rules. And this opens up the formatting rules manager. Here we can see the Ma the rules that have been applied to the selected cells, which is what is shown, show formatting rules for current selection. You can also see all the rules in this worksheet or all the rules in the other sheets that we have. But for now, let's just leave it as current selection. This is the rule that we just now applied using the drop down menu and selecting a blue data bar. And you can see that there's a rule and the format that is applied in the rule is shown here and also which cells they are applied to is also shown here and you can change these if you would like to. And now if I want to edit this rule, I click on it, select it and then click edit rule. And now I can see more options to customize my conditional formatting rules and formats. So here we have a data bar. It's a solid fill blue color, but we can come here and change the color to any other color if you want. We can choose borders. Uh, we can see an instant preview so that we can decide whether we want to keep that format or not. We can also click this. Only the bar will be shown. The values here will disappear. Only the bars will be shown. And this is basically how we can further customize the conditional formatting data bars. We can use data bars when we want to show the comparison of values in a group of cells. The bars here are visually easier to read than just the numbers. That's where you would use the data bars. I'm going to click cancel because I don't want to make any changes to this. Close. Now let's learn the next type of graphics, which is the color scales. So I'm going to choose the quantity values here in this table. And I'm going to say conditional formatting color scales. And again, we have a few options and these are just different colors, whether they are three color scales or you have two color scales here, green and white versus here, three colors, green, yellow, red. And there are about 12 presets, but you can also click more rules and customize it to your needs. And now I'm going to just choose the first option here, green, yellow, red. And as soon as I do that, these, cells are now color coded and the dark green or the green here represents the month or represents the cell with the highest value among all the selected cells and the red color cells are the lowest values because that's what the preset color scale here means 
And so we have these values now color coded with a quick glance. I can see which month has the highest quantity and which months have the lowest. And we can go and edit the rule just like we did with the data bars. Go ahead, manage rules and you will see this specific graded color scale which we applied and you can click edit rule and we are back into this window where we can edit the formatting rule and the format style is a three color scale you can change it to a two color scale if you want and in this window basically we are here in this first rule type format all cells based on their values and we have already seen the data bars and now we have two colors scale and three color scales and we can change it to two color scale you will give the the two colors that you want excel to use to show the spectrum from the lowest to the highest and you can change to any color you want and also you can go back to the three color scale and you can give three colors and excel will use that to create that gradient of colors to show the values from lowest to the highest in shortly we will look into the icon sets I'm going to hit cancel, close because I don't want to make any changes. And let's take the profit values here and then apply the icon set. So I'm going to choose icon sets and I'm going to just choose the three traffic lights. And you can see all these other options available. These are all icons or graphics that will show up on your, on your um, cells when you choose them and you can customize it as you need and you can apply different rules. So I'm going to choose this and now we have traffic lights applied and I'm going to hit manage rules, icon set and edit rule. And now I will see more options where I can customize. For example, here, I want to show all the values that are about 40,000 as a number. And let me enter 40,000. Greater than or equal to 40,000 should be in green. And greater than, let's say 30,000, greater than or equal 30,000 and less than 40,000 should be in yellow. And if the profit is less than 30,000, then it should be a red. And this is because this is the icon set. And we can change this to any of the other, other possible combinations we want. There are some where you have only three options. There are some where you have four and there are some where you have five. For our case, to simple, simplify, we just have three icons here and I'm, I want to change this to number because we are dealing with number here, which is the profit value. And you, as you saw here, we don't, there are also other options to choose. But for us, in this simple example, I'm going to just choose number 30,000 and I'm going to hit OK and now we have to apply this so that this rule can be applied to the cells and I'm going to hit apply and now you see the green cells are where the profits are about 40,000 the yellow is between 30,000 and 40,000 and then the red is below 30,000 and so with a quick glance we can see which month needs attention or which month was the worst in terms of profits and which months are doing well.